Okay, today we are making Hoppin' John. I have an onion chopped, just a medium onion, two scallions chopped, um, we are going to saute those in a little bit of olive oil first, or cooking oil, whatever you want to use. We're going to be using a bay leaf. We're going to be using some red peppers, um, a, a bag of frozen black-eyed peas. We're also going to use four cups of chicken broth, and um, we're supposed to have ham. I don't have any ham. So I'm using what I had in the freezer, which is some pork roast that I froze after Chris smoked it. So I'm going to put a little of that in it. Um, but there is our recipe in our second cookbook. This is also a recipe I did on Family Food Fight for the judges that they really liked. All right, we're going to add our onion to the oil first. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And if you like more, add it. We're going to put in a bay leaf. Ooh, they smell good. Bay leaf. We're going to put in a bag of frozen black eyed peas. This is a 16 ounce bag. Four cups of broth, and you can use chicken or beef. This is chicken. If you don't have any made, just use bouillon. And now I'm going to put in this meat. It really should be chopped a little bit, so we're going to walk over here and chop it up just a little bit with our knife, and then we'll add it. And like I said, this is pork roast that was smoked, um, and we had extra, and we froze it. And so I'm just going to put this in my Hoppin' John because I don't have any ham. I thought I had ham that I could flavor beans with, but I don't, I don't see any in my freezer. But this will work for flavor. You can use uh, smoked anything, really, or ham. But I personally don't like to use uh, bacon because it turns into like a gel. Some people say that if you fry it really crunchy and then add it, it doesn't turn into that um, gel, kind of gels and disintegrates. It doesn't happen if you fry it first with bacon. And that's really enough because we don't have a whole lot of beans, just enough to give it some flavor. So we're going to add this meat in here. Stir this up. Now, this says to cook until most of the water has evaporated and you're left with about a cup of liquid. Okay? You serve it over rice. So I'll be making some rice to go with this. Okay, we didn't put our salt and pepper in here, so we're going to add it in right quick. It still hasn't come to a complete boil yet. We are going to put in a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. So, a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. And that's it. We'll stir it back up. That is some yummy. Hoppin' John.
this Hoppin' John is perfect. You want the wet to be right at the top of the bean. And we're going to take this bay, uh, bay leaf out. And we're going to serve this over some rice. My rice in my rice cooker. Just going to fluff it a little bit. This is just white rice and water. That's all it is. This is how you eat Hoppin' John. And you can eat it with supper. We're going to have it on the plate with other things. But I'm just showing y'all how to eat it. Now, it's got a little bit of red pepper in it, but not a whole lot. And I didn't have regular ham to make it look prettier, but that's okay. I used what I had. Hoppin' John. Let's give it a taste. See if it's seasoned good enough. Good comfort food. Delicious. You could really feed your family just the Hoppin' John. There's beans, there's rice, and there's meat. If you're in a pinch and trying to stretch stuff. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.